Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I was working on a video that we're going to be releasing very soon about new technologies in the HVAC industry and also some of my upcoming predictions. But this is one idea that is probably separate from the rest. And I think, especially if somebody were to see this, I'm not patenting this idea. Uh, I can't believe that it already isn't being done. And that's because I know that we have the technology. I think it's just a matter of someone grabbing a hold of it. So what do I mean by that? I think that there is a possibility in the very near future, again, because we already have the technology to do it, thermostats as we know it are going to become extinct. Years ago, we used to have these thermostats with like a little dial on them or a lever. They were kind of archaic. And today, those would be considered quite antiquated in comparison to a lot of the technology we see today. In my opinion, the fact that we're even still using thermostats as we know them is archaic in general, right? To me, there's a lot of other industries that have moved way ahead and the heating and air industry is still stuck with this old school thinking. What's the difference? What do you mean do away with the thermostat? Well, I'm surprised that no one has come out with a way that, you know, there are apps on your phone that could do way more than most of the top end thermostats today. You've got companies selling hundreds of dollar thermostats in big box stores, you can go into any of the hard, big hardware stores and buy a, a thermostat for $300 and that thermostat still can't do what a lot of the apps in my phone can do. And so the fact that a lot of these manufacturers have not grabbed a hold of this idea, if you see this video and you're an HVAC manufacturer, you can have my idea because I can't believe you haven't gotten it yet anyway. And the fact that we still have these old Atari machines yeah, I call it Atari, right? The old video game that we used to play when we were really little. But basically, we've got these Atari games hanging on the side of our walls now. The fact that there's not just a temperature sensor there, a nice cosmetically pleasing temperature sensor there, and nothing else, and then you having an app on your phone that controls everything, or a fancier iPad, something like that on your wall, an actual touchscreen computer is amazing to me. The technology's there. You know, we already have had customers that we have similar things with that. And I don't think it would cost that much more. It would actually relieve the cost for a lot of consumers because they wouldn't have to worry about going and buying one of these thermostats that I consider ugly anyway. Uh, I, I would say the majority of thermostats on the market are ugly hanging on your wall anyway. They just look like an old Atari machine hanging on the side of your wall. In fact, a lot of thermostats still use the same technology they did back when I first got in the trade. You've got thermostats that are cutting edge or whatever. They're just prepackaged or cosmetically they look a different way, but the technology inside of them is the exact same thing as they were 20, 30, and even 40 years ago. So again, HVAC manufacturers, get a sensor, you know, have two wires, you know, you can connect to that sensor so you can still measure the room temperature. And then that outdoor unit should be connecting to your phone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or however. But the fact that we still have the antiquated technologies that we have today is surprising to me. Anyway, you may disagree if you're a consumer. Let me know. Comment down below. What would you rather see in your house? Some of the thermostats we see on the market today, or would you rather just see a little plastic case that was just literally a sensor sensing the temperature in the room? I do know there will be some consumers that they hate phones. They, you know, some consumers, if they're elderly, they, they want to have the old backward compatibility that a thermostat can offer. And maybe, maybe manufacturers can have an either or type option. But I just think we're a little bit stuck in the past with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.